Hi there, my name is Sonia Boko. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share balloon designs, tips, tricks and inspiration for you. Today I am preparing to head to a Emma Wiggle inspired birthday party and I thought that I'd love to share with you a idea which is really quick and easy and fantastic for any Emma birthday. You're only going to need two yellow balloons and those are specialty ones and they are yellow hearts and just a little scrap of yellow. Um, this one's 260, it could be 160 and if it's not yellow you could also use black or any color really if you are lacking this kind of balloon you might be able to tie it on with string or with some ribbon or curling tape or so but we are going to use this bit of scrap what I've done with this one is squeeze the air out and while keeping quite a firm grip there just tied a knot in it and that has taken all the air out of that and it's given us a nice little flat surface to work with now I love to buy my balloons from a balloon supplier here in Australia JJ's balloons or balloonguide.com.au and with that you can actually buy not just a whole bag of balloons but you can buy them in lots of 10 I'm going to go ahead to pop a link in the description box below so check that out where you can purchase these balloons from JJ is also my preferred supplier of headbands and unfortunately though I think he's not stocking my favorite at this time which is one inch wide headbands the design is going to go ahead to use these two yellow hearts from Qualitex in they're the six inch size and I've got this one inch thick headband that's going to be the base I am going to go ahead to use my balloon handheld pump here Pop that on, hold it down nice and securely and do two pumps. Now my particular balloon pump inflates as it's pumping in and as it's pumping out. So if your balloon is only a one way pump, you may need to get more pumps to get it to the right size. But here we go. It's approximately the size of my hand. Now as I go ahead to tie my knot, I'm knotting it just a little bit further away from the inflated part of the balloon just to give it a little bit of slack which is going to help us to put a twist in there to join the two hearts together. But let's go ahead and inflate our other one to the same size. Just making sure they're somewhat the same size which is great. And tying off again just make sure the knot isn't hard up against the inflated part of the balloon. Alright so this is the tricky part and when I say tricky it's actually not tricky at all <laughs> what I'm going to do is give the balloon a bit of a squish you can see that is distorting the shape a little but I'm going to go ahead to use this hand to pinch that in just holding it there between my fingers so you can pinch twist this and add it to the other if you are a balloon twister you'll be familiar with the balloon twist technique and if not it's really straightforward but if you struggle a little with the pinch twist here's an alternative idea for you we're going to pop a twist here just like this replicate it on the second heart and then bring those two together So the traditional pinch twist was not done there, however it's brought our two balloons together and now we actually just want to get the nozzles hidden away and inside the centre part here. So, because it's not going to behave in the way as a typical pinch twist, it doesn't matter that it's not your textbook one, okay? So we're basically just going to hide away that part of the nozzle. I'm going to pull this bubble away from the structure and then twist it round clockwise and clockwise either is fine and I'm going to go ahead to do the same thing for this bubble. And you can see that fabulous bow shape coming out and we are going to decide where we want it to position on the headband and then I'm going to take the knotted end of my scrap and I'm going to just start off by connecting it into here taking my headband simply just wrapping it under 
come back over. Just running that through there a few times. Now, when I took the air out of this earlier, it's to help keep a nice flat section of balloon there. And it's not strictly necessary to do that step. However, do try and keep any air out of your balloon as you are attaching to it. Also, whenever you're popping something on the headband, make sure that it is sitting at least on the top of the headband or higher, because if not, it's going to be competing for space to actually stay on the head. So if those bubbles were coming down lower than the headband, so that's the great thing about using the one inch wide headbands. They're really awesome for just uh, balancing a design on top. But you can go ahead to remove that excess. Now, if you give it a pull, if you give it a pull before you snip, that will then retract the rest of the balloon back inside your structure. You just want to go ahead to position. So that's looking pretty cute. Also great for any mini inspired parties or just anywhere where you would like to throw a bow on your head. But you can finish it here or you can go ahead to add a little bit of marker art and that will help it look a little bit more like that distinctive bow that our favourite yellow wheel likes to wear. So we're going to go ahead to do a little bit of marker art on this one. Make sure any markers that you're drawing on balloons with do not contain alcohol. I give that warning a lot, but I just want to make sure if you're new to drawing on balloons, you don't make that mistake. Nothing worse than making a beautiful design. You pop on the wrong kind of marker and it can burst your balloon like that. It's always great if you can do a little test if you're not sure, but I love this Pentel Maxi Flow Permanent Marker. And there is also Sharpies, which are awesome for drawing on balloons and they come in a beautiful variety of colors. So the black part of the bow, I'm just going to draw it in and I'm going to just kind of imitate the shape that the heart itself has. This stage we're laying on the color, you don't need to worry about being too neat because as we're laying on that color, we can then make little amendments to the lines of the design. <laughs> it's a very rough sort of outline there and we're gonna go ahead to color that all in. great for laying out large blocks of color the bullet pen styles and this one has this great little feature where if you click the top of it it helps to resaturate or re-ink the chamber so you are getting a lot more uh, rich color and ink out of your marker I think my one's starting to get low I use it a lot <laughs> watching that time up there because the party starts in just over an hour so perfect timing and I'm sure hope that the young lady who's a guest of honor loves her balloon let's keep going that looks pretty even I'm going to go ahead now to color that in and I'll do a reassessment once I've done this part So that's looking pretty good, but you see what I see? There is a little bit of yellow that's showing in between these parts of the bow in here. I just want to try and reduce that as much as possible, and so I'm going to go in there and add a little bit more black. Trying to look at, trying to make it look a bit like one cohesive unit or bow, and not having those distracting yellow bits in between.
so I'm just amending some of the lines where I've drawn on the heart but also I'm going to colour in a little bit more on the centre part of the bow. That's looking pretty neat. Now just a friendly PSA on the use of marker art on balloons. Now should the unthinkable happen and your balloon pop, this is actually going to cause the ink on here to re-liquefy so it could actually cause a real big mess. If you are laying on a lot of colour of something, make sure you do keep it um, as safe as possible really. If you are cautious of that, you're aware of it and if you do, if you're doing this and it pops, just make sure you get those scraps into the bin and clean up after yourself. <laughs> And there we are. That is the finished design. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already subscribed I'd love if you would do so and make sure to hit the big like button below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I've got a party to go to. <laughs> Have fun! Voila my bow, my beautiful yellow bow. Three I know. Go. Gotta go get away, gotta go get away. Yeah. Ignore him, he is, I can see his face. Oh, I'll edit that out. Should I edit that out? Should I keep it? Decisions, decisions. Hi there, my name is Sonia Boko. I'm a balloon artist from... Should be the easiest part. It was not. Here we go, here we go. You want to be in the video? You're not a wiggle. You're not an animal wiggle. Mm. <laughs> He's not a wiggle. You look there. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs>